ranking my favorite Nike SB Dunks. Yeah, I guess this is kind of video that I just felt like doing spontaneously because yeah, I've really been into sneakers for like a long time and um, I recently just got back into them more when I could like, you know, when I could afford to, you know, buy myself some types of things just for fun and because like I appreciate artsy things and like, yeah, there have been like, if anyone's seen me around the area of California, just that I usually go around, you know, like at this point, there have been like hundreds of people who have looked at my shoes, who have like asked me where I get my shoes from and have like complimented me like, and the funny thing is that like, whenever someone just tells me like, you know, I just like, you know, I just tell them thank you, you know, and I kind of just, you know, don't really pay it much mind because I've just like heard it so many times. Like even people have told me that like, they think I have the dopest shoes that they've seen, but um, yeah, I just really like shoes. So yeah, I just wanted to show it like, what I have currently in my connection and certainly it's not like all the things I want like I definitely want other types of stuff but I'm gonna like rank it and like you know it can give like sneaker heads out there and other types of people who are into that like you know some type of view about like how how to like put outfits together or other types of dope shoes so I have five of them which are the most recent ones from 2020 moving onwards I still have some older ones but to be honest like a lot of the soles and stuff like it just wears out and everything and I just kind of eventually throw them away or just try to get rid of them somewhere. So I'd say that um, from the five, this is the lowest one. I mean, you guys will see like what I'll have like else, but I really like these. These are the orange lobsters. I really used to want to like have the orange or the red and the blue ones in high school. And so I ended up eventually getting these. And I thought that was also interesting about like the shoes that I'm going to show everybody is like, I see a lot of sneaker heads on social media and stuff and like I wear my stuff like more like some of my shoes here that I'll show you guys like the sock liner is like really messed up and really ripped but like I just really love to wear them and I just really like how artsy they are and um I think uh sorry I'm looking on which side of the sock liner on um, this one got a little ripped yeah like it got a little ripped there but like to be honest it's not really that bad and like I've had them for like, I think a year and nine months and I really like the teal laces cause they're really dope. And um, I mean, like all my dunks are like kind of dirty. Like I don't really wash them and people still look at them. Like a lot of chicks have like looked at my shoes and stuff and like they told me things. So like, um, so yeah, but from the five that I have, that's the lowest one that I would rank. And then um, I'm kind of trying to think about like how I should rank the remaining ones. Cause like, I don't want to show them to you guys like before I show them. But um, I think that the next one that I'd have to go with, which I think like some people are gonna probably call me crazy or whatever, but once you see like what I have higher up in the list, I think it'll make sense. I think the next one would be these. These are the street hawkers. Like, and again, like I'm telling you guys, um, sorry, I'm just looking in which sock liner has the rip because I know my shoes have rip. It like has a little bit there, but like, to be honest, it's not really that bad. I've worn these so much. Dude, like look at the bottom and yeah, like look how worn out that is. Like. I don't see anybody on social media like wearing these types of shoes that much because like I just really love them. I really like how they look and like they really make an outfit like pop. Like even if you wear some older clothes and you mix and match with some dunks, like it's really dope. And like even on this side, it's like really worn out there, you know, like but these are still like amazing shoes. And I just did a lace swap because like the blue was like a really interesting contrast to like just some of the highlights that show up on different parts of this shoe. And it's just like really interesting. And um, yeah, I mean, even on the orange lobsters, they're kind of getting kind of worn out, but like, obviously they're like one of the newer pairs. So like, um, they, you know, they're not like as worn out as the other ones. And um, if I were to go, so we have three more of them left from what I'm showing. So this one, again, people may think is kind of crazy, but like, it'll make sense once you see like what the next two shoes are after this one. Um, this one are my P-Rods. These are so dope. Like I did a lace swap on these and I actually used like the old P-Rods that I had and just like the design on all of it, dude, like it's crazy. And like, obviously, yeah, these are really worn out. And these were really the ones that got me like back into it. Like, you know, back into like spending some money on dope shoes. Cause like, and it was really good. Cause like, I think it really like helped me put together better outfits together. But like, these are so dope. And um, I got these like for my birthday in like 2021. And um, I don't know like how easy it will be to show like how the end, inside of the sock liner is but like yeah it's ripped in there too and um i think it's ripped on both sides and like that's how much i wear them and i really love them and they're dirty too but like whatever yeah like it's like really worn out in there but the only reason that i would rank these 
above like the street hawkers is because like you know i really just love the quilted inside like i really like shoes that like have leather the quilted inside because like they're a lot less prone to ripping and that'll come up in like the next shoe that i'm gonna talk about the second one but yeah these are like super dope too a lot of people have asked me about these but obviously a lot of people have asked me about all of these but just the attention to detail and like I just wanted to show them because I recently like saw a lot of videos that Paul Rodriguez P. Rod he was doing on his YouTube channel and like he's just like showing so many shoes a lot of which I don't really have anymore because like they broke or they fell apart or I just wore them you know until they broke and like P. Rod is such a legend dude I really love P. Rod he makes like the dopest shoes like look at this this is so crazy like the top like the texture here like the lace swap everything like you can do so many colors and like the other side it's like really super dope like you know it's like the cement and i really love this like this is so unique like i've never seen this like on any type of shoe like it's like all white but it's like engraved in and because it's not a suede or anything like it's a, like a leather like it kind of just doesn't really get dirty and then you have like this hemp type material and then this is a swoosh from one of the p rod twos which i had in middle school which like i had to get and um so for my number two leading up to number one um, I also did a lace swap on these but like you know I know I've never seen anyone do this type of lace swap on this shoe but like as you guys will see I did the yellow lace swap on the green supremes like a lot of people definitely have like looked at the lace swap and I really like it because it's like a really interesting color contrast and it's like pretty much like almost neon and I still have these here but like they're really worn out and like I told you guys that I had alluded to I've never seen anyone on social media wear these Supremes that much. And look, look how ripped the inner sock liner is. I really wear them and I really love them. They're like, they're like probably like my second, like my number two. And even on this, it's been getting kind of ripped. Like sometimes if there gets like too much fabric out, like I'll take a scissor and like I'll cut it. And like even the bottom is really worn out. Like these are such a good shoe. If you're looking for a shoe, like the prices on these is lower. And I'll admit, I'm not going to like make up things and, and lie to you guys like I paid a lot more for these from what they were at now because you know the outlook of the economy and consumer spending it was a lot better than what it is now and anyways yeah i'm running maybe a little short on time but these are my number ones i would say the most people have looked at these you know chicks everybody you know has looked the most at these uh these they pretty much stayed the same in price actually i think they're a really good investment so like maybe if you're looking to buy something like maybe try to go like a little more back but the uh, Grateful Deads and uh, the green ones. These are so crazy. And look how dirty they are. I've just worn them and like people still really look at them. They're crazy because like the sock liner is really ripped inside. And uh, like, look how ripped that is. Like, I really love these shoes. These are undoubtedly my favorite shoes. I want the orange ones. The orange ones are super dope, but I really just like the lace swap. And you know, like I'm sure like people I've seen online, like it has a little thing to put whatever you want in there. I never put anything in there. I just stuff the laces up and um so that I don't have to redo these laces every day and it just can zip up like that. And it has the little bear and like, yeah, they're really dirty, but like they still look super dope. And like, that's what I love about some things about Nike and other things like, you know, it's like a really affordable type of product. And like, you know, that's why I said like Nike is still an amazing company. Like even if they're facing some financial difficulties and like having to lay people off, like whatever they did for sneaker culture and everything, like it's unprecedented. And um. Also from the Supreme ones, I really want to get like other colors. Like I was really thinking to get the blue ones maybe like uh, for my birthday that was recently, but I think I got something else that was like better value despite the fact that it was a little bit more expensive. But a lot of sneakers are really down lower now because you know the outlook and everything and on consumer spending. So I definitely recommend, you know, if someone, you, you know, if you like want to have some cash, just like kind of wash around for different types of things you like. And like, I definitely want to get the orange Grateful Deads. I want to get the Sean Clivers, those. Um, you know, with the golden swoosh, probably eventually I want to get probably all the colors of the Supremes and maybe even the yellow bears. But yeah, you know, I really love when like people talk about their shoes and they talk about their style online. Like I've been watching this type of stuff like since high school. So yeah, I just wanted to like leave my own type of video showing my shoes.